Good afternoon, Neil. This is your coffee machine, the Breville Dual Boiler BES900. It's in good condition. I've just finished doing the service and the clean works very well. Um, so new seals all around, um, no leaks. Um, changed the seals on the steam ones, so it's not going to leak like a lot of the other machines do. So nice and solid steam. Um, I'm going to do a quick uh, double shot espresso. For you here just to show you the machine how it works um, confirm that it's fully functional um, usually it takes about five to ten minutes after you turn it on to warm up uh, but if you have a tight schedule you can actually program the machine to turn on for you in the morning so it's called auto start you just give it the timing uh, and it will do that for you if you want to save a few minutes rather than wait um, here you can change the shot temperature as well as the shot volume and you can access the clean cycle at the moment it's up to temperature, ready to go. Just make sure you give it enough water. So it's a bit low at the moment. It will actually remind you to fill the tank when it's really low. Uh, but try to keep it within, uh, try to not let it go below this, the, the line here on the sight line. Just going to give it a little bit. I like to begin my coffee session with a blank shot just to run hot water through the system um, to heat up the internals as well as the handle and the head and if you put your cup underneath that'll warm up your cup as well so it's a good step to do um, two cup or one cup button should be fine you can do it once or twice uh, once should be fine as well Stop it there. So your machine comes with obviously the handle, the basket and the tamper, as well as the milk jug. Let me show you that. It's the Breville milk jug, the standard one. Um, the basket here is actually um, the double shot pressurized, double shot double wall. It's called the dual wall pressurized basket. Um, this one kind of makes life easier by building up pressure, building up the pressure for you. Um, so like if you have imperfect beans or imperfectly ground beans, um, it will still deliver good pressure because it has that two layered design. Um, but anyway, I've ground up some beans quite fine to espresso level, so I'm going to try that as well. Um, I've got my scale here just to measure the quantity. So this is the double basket. It takes about 17, maybe 18 grams. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't even have to be 17 grams. It will give you a good coffee nonetheless. But try to keep it around 17. I think this one um, is quite forgiving though. So, I'm going to turn on my scale here. You can see that probably. Um, usually, coffee gr grinders have a quarter filter holder, so you can grind straight to the quarter filter. Oops, rather than having to do a mess like me. Okay, that's about 19 grams, I'll take a bit off. Yeah, that's about 17. I'm happy with that. So, yeah, most grinders will grind it straight to the port filter. Um, it's actually better to grind fresh rather than grinding it and putting it in a container. Uh, but sometimes you have to do that. For example, if you don't have a grinder or if you buy decaf beans, you have to store them in a container because you can sorry, decaf coffee. Usually it's pre-ground, tamper, I'm going to make sure it's distributed properly and then I'm going to tamp it nice and firm. So I'm going to make sure that there's, make sure that there's no holes. Cool. You can actually, I think it, I could have bumped it up to 18 grams, 
rather than 17, uh, but that's fine. Uh, let's let's bump you up to 18 games. It's not the perfect thing to do, but I want to get it right, so. Okay, it's actually 19 games, which is alright. Just want to get a strong coffee, that's all. Yeah, I'm making a bit of a mess. I'm just trying to make it um, a consistent layer, consistent puck. That looks good. So yeah, if you don't have a scale, that's fine. You can uh, still use this basket and it will be quite forgiving. Uh, but this, these baskets usually go um, well with the tamper because the tamper will give you an indicator of how deep you should go. So as deep as this silver line, silver cap on the tamper, that's about the depth of 18 grams. So if it's in line with, with the tamper, with the edge of the basket, that's perfect. So yeah, that's um, 18 grams. Lock it in tight. Not too tight, you don't want to go all the way to the right, but sort of a bit dead, dead center or maybe a bit to the right. About five o'clock should be enough. Okay, now um, that's 18 grams in here. I, want, I also want to measure the espresso output. So usually the, the recipe is a two to one ratio. So, 18 grams times 2 is 36. I want to get about 36, maybe 40 grams of coffee into this cup. Um, these buttons are programmable, as I said, if you want to do that, or if you want to pull the shot manually, that's, a, that's possible as well. Um, that's good. You want to um, take a look at the flow and change your grind size accordingly. At the moment, I've, gr I've already set up my grinder to a very fine grind for espresso, but if you find if you find the coffee is coming out too slow or too quick, that's where you change the um, the grind size. So it's going a little bit too slow. I might have packed it too hard in there, but we'll let it go. This is uh, the the pressure gauge here. Will tell you obviously how how much pressure you're brewing at. The ideal is about eight to ten, uh, with nine being the perfect dead center pressure. At the moment, I'm jumping at 10, 10 and a half. The coffee machine actually won't let you go past 10 or maybe 10 and a half. Um, I've actually set the, the overpressure valve to around 10 and a half. So even if you absolutely pack the grinder, uh, absolutely pack the handle with coffee, it won't like destroy and explode with coffee. Uh, it will limit itself to 10 and a half. That's adjustable if you want to change it in the open the open the machine and change that manually. But 10. And, about 10 is, is the, usual, the usually the limit. So now what I can see is that it's a bit a bit too high. So I, use, I'll, I should try to aim to reduce my grind size. Reduce my grind size or maybe reduce my dose. Um, it's probably the grind size though. It looks a little bit too fine. But yeah, here's my shot. Very nice. It's a little bit long. Um, let's see, it looks like 50 grams. Yeah, 55 grams. It's a little bit long, but that's fine. Uh, some coffees will brew very nicely at this length. Uh, I was aiming for more, more closer to 40, but I, get, I guess I got carried away. You want to do um, that 2 to 1 doubling, 2 to 1 ratio in about 20 to 30 seconds. So I think that was about 30 seconds. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I didn't time it, but it looks very nice. The flow was a bit slow at, start, at the start, but it sped up a little bit. And as you saw, it's very nice. Not too bad. Um, yeah, so this is the double basket. If you ever want to uh, upgrade, there's always other brands of baskets or the standard 
single wall basket you can upgrade to. Um, unfortunately, I'm a bit short on those, so I don't have any extras at the moment. Um, so it's the bubble basket with this one. Milk jug, tamper. I think this is all you need to start to, to do. <laughs> this is all you need to get started. You might need to buy um, cleaning tools. Mainly, it's the cleaning disc, to be honest. With this machine, there's a cleaning cycle. I've already done that, but there's a cleaning cycle that you do where you put the soap, a soap tablet, sort of a soap tablet into the handle to kind of back flush. Um, as you will see, this is the puck. It's the coffee. When you tamp the puck out, Uh, th there will obviously remain coffee inside of the head as well uh, as the handle so the head and the handle will have um, coffee grounds I like to do a, a little bit of cleaning by pressing the double cup or even the single cup button doesn't matter just running hot water through the head to rinse out the, the shower screen and the machine solenoid as well as well as the handle so maybe screw it in see the pressure go back and just so as, as you heard, there's a bit of a, um, a release of the pressure at the end of the shot. So when you press the button, the pressure will be released into the drip tray. So that's that's a three-way solenoid thing. Uh, sorry, that's a back flush or a release of the pressure. So when you buy the, the cleaning tools, all you're doing is just putting a, a soap through the system and back flushing. Which is good for the system to just get rid of the grounds and the oils. So that's all you need. Um, it's a bit, bit of a convoluted way of saying buy a cleaning disc and some cleaning tablets. Um, being a dual boiler, you can obviously you have the steam ready at any point. So it's really strong steam on this one. Actually, one of my favorites to steam with. Um, very easy, um, and you can obviously do both. You're not restricted to one or the other. Uh, I'm not going to be steaming any milk. For this video um, but yeah um, I'm sure you'll enjoy this if you have any questions or concerns feel free to message me uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy the machine and uh, congrats on the purchase cheers